never look back. Hey, see this that that championship music right here. That game seven, three seconds left on the clock. Are you gonna take it? Don't lose your focus. <laughs> Yeah, focus, you gotta focus. Else you're hopeless, what you choose. When to lose, you know the rules. Never give up, just keep your head up. Despite the pressure, it's gonna get better. You gotta get it, it's now or never. I focus, you gotta focus. Else you're hopeless, what you choose. When to lose, you know the rules. Never give up, just keep your head up. Despite the pressure, it's gonna get better. You gotta get it, it's now or never. I like bro. Brady in his prime, Houston 95 against all odds, I promise I will rise, I got that Jordan driving, will the win, cause from deep within, boy I guess it in, from the start to the very end, me and it to win, switch it up, it's two minutes left, gotta get the touch, I'm like T-Ball when it comes to clutch, you can count on me, fourth and go, and I'm gonna score, that's the Super Bowl, I'll get that ring, have to kiss my dream, then it with my team, feel like poppy bottom of the night, on my second out, up the back, and the base is loaded, and we down by three. Home run on the second strike. Tried to throw a curve. I'm on course, winning is the source. We headed up north, that's to the top. I won't ever drop, I won't ever stop. Popping bottles of the champagne, had to make it rain. We the best, we the team that's left. Told y'all we was next, one was my focus. I ain't never hopeless, I'm all out like Kobe. I focus, you gotta focus. Else you're hopeless, what you choose? To lose, you know the rules. Never give up, just keep your head up. Despite the pressure, it's gonna get better. You gotta get it, it's now or never. Focus, you gotta focus. Else you're hopeless, but you choose. When to lose, you know the rules. Never give up, just keep your head up. Despite the pressure, it's gonna get better. You gotta get it, it's now or never. I'm like Kobe in the finals, and I'm gone for my sixth ring. We down two, we need a three to win. I'll take the whole thing. Get it for my team and put us on the scene Best believe, clutches in my jeans I win by any means, I won't be stopped Grinding in the morning like a coffee shop If I'ma take us to the top I cannot let my focus lock My head is in the game Can't let the level of my focus drop Cause I will not lose the game Ain't over till you out the clock Been training for this moment Four inches. this your only shot I hit the hole and break them off Like Barry when he told the rocks A move to change, you better get out my lane I'm like a moving train, I don't complain I just play my game and let it self-explain I do my thing there we go. We're live, folks. What's happening? As always, I'm Ryan Dietrich. Welcome to another episode of That's Debatable, the Wednesday night edition. Got to drop that voice, get it low, the Wednesday night edition. Here with my guy, Will Ward. What's up? What up, folks? Fly, looking fly, Will. Always hey. with the lit game. Got to. Got to. I try to. Keep there. it real uh, debonair. We'll get mine on. There you this go. Is, this is probably my favorite hat. Only problem is it kind of gets dark over here, but... Represent my abs, got the sweep in, swept the Nashville Predators right out the building. Got to get them out of the way early, right? Dude, they're looking good, and it helped. Uh, their goalie is hurt. He took an uh, took a stick to the eye, so their starting goalie was out for game four. Backup came in. Uh, Frankie. Came in, held business, so got him swept out. So a few days extra rest. Right, that's always will be good, good for uh, you know, especially a goalie with an eye injury. Right, you know, so eye is a big part of the job being a goalie. <laughs> you gotta be able to see that puck, right, dude, right. And uh, we're still waiting on our guy, Jer B. As always, the man's a hustler. He's been working all day, so you know how it goes. Got the man keeping him late, dude. Ten, fifteen minutes, he'd be in flying in off of his uh charter plane helicopter uh <laughs> superman cape not for sure how he's gonna come in here but he is on the way folks that's like uh kobe wouldn't kobe always take right? a helicopter yeah. into the staples or whatever that's a good way to go around that's and crazy avoiding the traffic yep i've been looking into a plane here if anybody out there in the chat can help me out finding me that <laughs> helicopter to get around the city of 614 and there you go hit me up yeah speaking of we uh you know, I live, like, northwest Columbus, kind of by the Ohio State Airport. Right. There's always jets coming in and out. So, with the Memorial Tournament coming up, you know, Jack Nicholas's golf tournament here at the home of golf, you know, Jack Nicholas, all that. 
Uh, the OSU airport right around that time is always filled up with net jets and all those privates because those golfers come in and they land out there and take shuttles or whatever. So Makes sense. That's kind of cool. Living the life, man. Private jet to every weekend to go play golf for four days. How about it? I should have stuck with it. Never too late, man. You see uh, how my guy J.R. Smith, he's doing it. He right. went back. <laughs> Actually going to school. He still had all his eligibility left, so he signed back up. Um, I think it's never too late, man. You should always be able to chase your dream. So it's a lot of people out here always saying, oh, it's always next year. You hear those football teams saying it's always next year. Start living your life while you can, people. This thing is getting shorter and shorter every single week. So just to limit yourself and say what you wish you could do, give it a try. You only take one day at a time to, to overcome any adversity that you may have been through, achieve any dreams that you can still pursue. You know, I'm a living testament and speaking testimony that you can overcome and you can be down and you can get back up. You know, you get stronger, wiser, better, and all that other stuff. You know, stay motivated and just continue to press on and pursue whatever dreams and aspirations you may have. So that's my motivational speech for this Wednesday night here on That's Debatable. And uh, it's going to be one of those type of show, folks. The Reverend Will Ward coming at you. Get your own little inspirational, motivational. Who's a... I got a buddy listens to the Ryan Rossillo podcast. Yeah. Ryan Rossillo, whichever. Uh, but he always does like a little five-minute clip at the end of just kind of whatever. Right. You know, words of wisdom, advice, whatever. Always bring a little bit to it, you know. Steve Harvey, someone who's good about that. All right. So, how's your week, man? What's been going on? Hey, my week's been a week. It's been very good. Uh, we started off with Mother's Day. Uh, if you want to follow me right here on Will Ward 288 on all platforms, you can kind of see. I've been trying to make sure I'm posting a little bit more, letting you guys inside of my lane a little bit more, so... I think I'm doing a very good job of, you know, staying on top of my game as far as social media. But, like we said, Sunday was Mother's Day. I uh, went up to Toledo and spent some time with my grandmother and my mom. Uh, made sure what the day was meant for. Made sure I spent time with those ladies. Uh, got to spend some time with my, my sisters and just had a good time with them. And on uh, Monday, I'm, I'm a busy man. I got my my youngest daughter. She has a dance recital coming up, so we had oh, practice. All right. Yesterday, I uh, went down to Burliner, played a doubleheader of softball. Um, I didn't do the best on offense. I did strike out, and I got a K at that. I, you know, Yikes. Yeah, it was. I didn't think that ball was. It felt like it was chest level, but that's debatable. I didn't really try to go at the ref or the umpire that much. I did give him a little finger wag. But I made up for it on the defensive end. So. Oh, you got called looking. I got called ain't looking, it, man. Ain't it slow pitch softball? Yeah. Come on, man. Swing away. <laughs> and, and, and you know what? That's what I told, you know, the chairman of our team. I said, I guess it's just swing away at this point. Right. Because I'm, I'm sitting there. I Usually you take the first pitch. Any good hitter may take the first pitch. But you in the slow pitch, you only get two strikes. Yep. And that's out. It's not three. It's not three strikes and you're out. So, one, I may have fouled off, and then that was another out. So, like I said, I didn't have the best day on defense or offense yesterday, but I did make up on the defensive end when the ball did come in my direction. But it's rec. It's a good time. You know, if uh, you want to come out, we can chat on the link or in chat and uh, hit me in a message. I'll share the information of where we playing at. Come out, check your boy out. It's a good time on a Tuesday night. It was very nice yesterday in Columbus, so <laughs> it was a really good time out there. Ten-week season. We in a, just finished up the third week, and that's been just about how my week has been, man. Having fun, enjoying life. Um, had a Thank casualty you. again. You know, that's how I keep saying life is getting shorter. I had a man. casualty in, a, in my family last week. And I'm going to speak one more time about just enjoying life, it was actually a homicide. You know, it happened to be the number 42 homicide in Columbus. So, Columbus, man, we got to do better as a community, as people, and just have more compassion for one another. This world is already corrupt. It's already so much to go through in your day-to-day -day life. 
but to actually have to take a life of a person or to feel like you're that much capable of taking a life, man, we have to get things together and do a lot better. You know, we're leaving this nation and these younger generations, you know, you see the shirt say the, the next generation, and we need to start really taking that and putting it into perspective because the things that they're seeing from this generation is going to lead into a world of destruction. So... I'm not here to try to preach as he already deemed me the reverend for today, <laughs> but I just felt that on my heart, man. We have to do better. So Stay stop quick. the violence. I used to do stop the violence rallies yeah. uh, probably about 10 years ago, and I, th- I just know we have to do better as a whole in general. So Yep. Yeah, especially, you know, Columbus had a, you know, a hot streak last few years. Yeah. It's just, right. yeah, there's lots of efforts going around. So, you know, something to be aware of. You know, I'm sorry to hear that. Right, appreciate you know, it. Always, you know, but, move, you know, one day at a time, got to keep moving on. Show respect where respect is due. So what about you, man? How was your week? All right, good week. Mother's Day was nice. Did some landscaping for mom around the house, right flowers, stuff like that. Uh, Saturday, I, we were talking before the show. I went over and broadcast the Ohio Bruins. The Ohio Bruins is an OBA team, which is the official basketball association kind of regional. I think there's like 48 teams. But the Ohio Bruins got a few former members of the Columbus Condors. Our guys, Cody Ballard, Andy Bosley, Anthony McDaniel, this young cat, Jay Farrow. Uh, Just, man, some athletes, some good basketball. They took on um, Quad City United. A uh, good game, kind of, they had about a 15, 20-point lead most of the game. So the Ohio Bruins got some talent, man. They play up at Northside Christian High School on Saturdays. So if you ain't got nothing to do going around Columbus, get up to Northside Christian High School Saturday at 5 o'clock coming up. They've got, I can't remember who's coming in. I'll see if I can find a graphic. But anyway, the Ohio Bruins, really good basketball. You know, afternoon Saturday afternoon, cheap event, cheap concessions if you want to get out and see it. Northside Christian High School here in Worthington. So the Ohio Bruins. So that was cool. You so know. you say you called the game. Who are you calling it? You know, where can the people find you and listen to you at? There you go. Good man. Uh, I'm working for TKDS Sports Network out of Dayton. I actually went over yesterday and did Centerville High School Boys Volleyball. So you can find that on Twitter at TKDS Sports, the TKDS Sports Network. Most of those are subscription packages. But, you know, anyway, it's good, good practice, good opportunity. Uh, I think the Ohio Bruins probably got a YouTube page, post their stuff there. Uh, so I'm going to have the chance to go over with our guy, Maude Taylor, this Saturday and do that. But, you know, running play-by-play, doing the thing, man, it's fun. And I like, you know, I like basketball. So got a decent feel for it, I think. Uh, so some good opportunities there. Like I said, went over to Centerville yesterday. Beautiful weather outside. You know, hitting the gym, trying to stay on top of my game. So, right. hey, hitting the gym, man. Team Hard Body ENT. That's right. See, that don't look too bad. It's just about t shirt time. Yeah. The weather's getting better. <laughs> you know, the shades is out. You got to get better, man. Team Hard Body ENT got to reign supreme. So, keep on on what you're doing, get man. It. All right, update halftime for those interested. Bucks and Celtics are going at it. Boston at home, game five. Series is tied 2 2. Looks like Jason Tatum and the boys are up 7, 55 to 47 at half. Definitely a big one. Home team, Boston. They win this thing, go up 3 2. And in the NHL, looks like the Penguins are trying to finish off the New York Rangers. Pittsburgh Penguins are up 3 to 1. They've got a chance to close out that series in New York tonight. Looks like they're up 1 to nothing just in the beginning of the second period. Sidney Crosby and the crew getting done. Washington Capitals and Alexander Ovechkin are up 1-0 on the Panthers. That'd be a big upset there. That's the beauty of hockey, man. All those series are tied basically 2-2, except for the Evs who got it done, like I mentioned. What else? Let's check this out. Rich strike, baby. 80-1. Kentucky Derby was last Saturday. They say if you put some money on that horse, man... You probably come out with a pretty penny. Striking correct? it rich, man. Eighty to one odds. Man. Now Miles is in the chat. What's up, Miles? Suns in six is probably a good guess. 
We're going to break down the Suns and Mavs a little bit later on. But, man, they rushed them out the building last night. Mavs didn't have an answer for nothing. And our guy's here. I'm going to send you to commercial real quick. We'll get you back in. It's golf season in Central Ohio. The Recreation and Parks Department of Columbus operates and maintains six affordable courses to test golfers of all abilities. Wilson Road, the Airport Course, Mintel Memorial, Turnberry, Raymond Memorial, and Champions Golf Course. Each municipal course is open to the public, affordable, and offers a unique golfing experience. Want to test your swing at each course? Try the City Sampler or the City Sampler Plus package. These package deals are an even cheaper way to play all six city courses. Restrictions apply to tee time availability. Visit CRPD Golf. Golf.com for more information. Listen up, Columbus. There's a new classic rock station in town. 97.5 The Bear is coming to you from Upper Arlington. Your source for classic rock all the time. All the time. We hear those other stations in town do a lot of talking and not enough rocking. You're here for rock radio, not talk radio. Tune into 97.5 The Bear. At 97 won the fan, the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and after a year of lockdown, we can't wait to get back outside and onto the golf course. Sunshine and needing permission to golf means that Mother's Day is just around the corner. We believe it's incredibly important to show our gratitude and appreciation to the ones we love. So tell us about the woman in your life who held your family together during the pandemic. Go to diamondseller.com, click the Get Out and Shine contest link, and tell us why she matters most for your chance to win. The winner selected will get to design their own handcrafted Diamond Cellar Mother's Day pendant. A once in a lifetime global pandemic means a once in a lifetime giveaway for a once in a lifetime woman. While you're on our website, browse our beautiful selection of designer earrings, necklaces, and jewelry in our easy to use online gallery. And if you are ready to get outside, book an in-store appointment at one of our exclusive Diamond Cellar locations and let us cater to every detail. When it's finally time to get back out in public, make sure she outshines the rest. Howdy folks, Big Mike here at Mike Howard Ford Lincoln Mercury. We've been your neighbors for quite a long time, so you know me, and you know why they call me Big Mike. For over 50 years, I've owned and operated the biggest American-made car dealership in Ohio. Our 16,000 square foot showroom is the largest indoor showroom in the Midwest. We have the largest selection of Ford F-150s, that's America's best selling truck, and most importantly, we have the biggest sale of the year. The Mike Howard Ford Lincoln Mercury Annual Memorial Day Sale is the best time of year to buy a new car, truck, or wagon. We offer 0% interest and zero cash down at signing with low monthly payments when financed through our finance department. And for our veterans, we are offering a $2,000 rebate on the purchase of a new vehicle. This Memorial Day, you can't can't find lower prices in Zozos is next after three quarters in one minute, ten and four foot seconds, and now epicenter. Hey, in case you guys didn't horses, see this, it's moving up quickly oh, it as Brown Pride commentary. The turn. It is Rich Brown strike, Pride dude. Salty move up the middle. This is an awesome view, too. This, I, did, I had to find this on YouTube. Most of the other ones are good, but I love watching this dive right through the pack, man. 80 to 1 odds, yeah, like we were saying. Get you that big, big money. We back live? Yeah, we're live. You hot. Mike's hot. Walked him down. Walked him down. Out of nowhere. Moving. And down Get the over stretch straight. they come. I know they were screaming whoever bet on that horse was like, go over the strike, go. Go over the strike, crazy. There's some, <laughs> they got some Ohio ties, too. Man, that was awesome. Most exciting two minutes in sports. Oh, yeah. All right, we back. Got to see that live. I love that. Oh, yeah, we, we goosh. Got some Kentucky Derby fans out there, I know. Yeah. Always a good event to gamble. My buddy Casey just bets his, like, old high school football and basketball numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter who, what the horse, whatever. Throw it on number 10, 16. It's going to hit. What you rocking? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the queen. Oh, Leah, dude. Yeah, you know. Nice. Play up, Jersey. Ah, uh, you're not faded out too bad. No, nah, yeah, it ain't that bad. I you think it was good. just, right. it wasn't expecting to see me and it was ghosty. All right. I don't know. <laughs> so, what's up? Welcome in, Jer. How was work, man? Bro, today was a day, man. I 
got into it with the supervisor. Uh, <laughs> real solid people that lost their jobs today. Real solid dudes over some sucker stuff, man. Suckers got to keep their job, and solid Damn. people had to leave. It was it was a, one of them days. I didn't look my, my my supervisor throwing me under the bus. It was, it was a lot of weird stuff today. I don't know what was going on, but we ain't here to talk about that. All right. We ain't here to talk about none of that. No, it was a regular old work day, <laughs> man. But shout out to the people who. Uh, Who's solid? And shout out to hey, y'all suckers need to uh, wrap it up. Shout out to the <laughs> shout out to the people who's solid, man. Yeah, that's a real quote right there from uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, yeah. as Miles is in the chat, let's hit it. Here's my guy. Big news: what Monday, Sunday. Bam! Oh, uh, this crap, this bull back to, crap. Back to back, back to back, MVPs. bulls. Back to back bull spit. Back to back bull spit. Analytics. Oh my God! This this award is now just like a snows of fest. Like man. And there he is. So this most award. of you know Nikola Jokic. Yeah, maybe the analytics MVP. Value over replacement players, some other just ERA. Well, you know, not ERA, but efficiency ratings. Yada yada yada. Crappy. Is, is kind of the way it went, was whatever the reasons, Nikola Jokic led most of the stats. Maybe that's Forget maybe it was a very equal field, and it was just hard to pick one out of it, so they erred on the side of statistics. The wrong but I don't know what it was. There's a lot, you know, there's the a lot wrong, of stats out there. You can manipulate numbers a lot of different ways. Wrong statistics, man. But Look, this, the, we, we could just, the dude got it. At the Aust- he got it, tip your hat. Real ones tip your hat, regardless. Even if you, f- I felt right. like last year, I felt like it should have been CP. We had an argument for MB. Yep. MB had an argument last year too. But the thing about last year, MB was hurt. Sixers was, I think, the one seed, but MB was hurt. Right, last year. Yeah, was so that kind of nullified it, which I felt like he performed. Even he felt like he performed to a point where he should have actually got the MVP last season. But I really, really felt like the impact of what the most valuable was, what Chris Paul had did for the Suns last year, I felt like it should have been CP3. I don't know. A lot of around that time, a lot of us was we was just starting to, just starting to uh, have this little debate thing. But I think in one of our little class sessions last year, we talked year, about it somewhere uh, yeah, down I was, the line. Yeah, real early. Or in, on. Later in the fall in this show when we're talking about the. Yeah, interview. no, it was real early on while we uh, were still in class when we talked about it. But yeah, I was saying it was Chris Paul last year. But this, I was, I don't even. I feel like if you want to just say somebody and be, yeah, he could have deserved it, but I feel like I know where MB lost it and where he didn't show why he should have been the MVP. I got reasons for all of that. I mean, but I'm just not impressed. Just because the big man passes the ball, I'm not impressed. I, it's, there was a six seed. That's like, this is almost Russell Westbrook. Like, 14, and this, this All-Star break. At All-Star break, the front runner at All-Star break was definitely MB. And I don't know where it is. Jokic and Giannis both came from nowhere. But shout out to the big man. So I guess it, guard, it's back to a big man's game. Can we say that? But, well, you know, 48 wins without Jamal Murray, without MPJ. That's a pretty empty squad that he's got that he didn't do a whole lot with. I mean, 76ers, yeah, they're the fourth seed, but they only had 51 wins. That's only three games. Minimal difference, but but he came in with the Ben Simmons drama. The, he ain't had no All Star. We we could have Maxi could have been most improved player. That's but the other thing. There's no it, other elite it, players on that team. If you really ask, squad him. is pretty naked yeah. too. Ha- Harris is a max player, but he doesn't play like one. Harden. I mean, well, he, he, he wasn't so eating games. Harden, oh, we go. I could get, I could get, I some saw the stuff for yeah, Harden. Yeah, I'm going to get on Harden in a minute. James St. Patrick, I know what I call him, Ghost. But even by the time Harden got there, he was already in like momentum of MVP. But just, just All Star break. I, uh, just the All Star break. Jokic went 14 and 8 after the All Star break, averaging 29, 13, and 8. Uh, and I rounded him up. So yeah. really like 20, 20 right. and 28. 13 and like high sevens, whatever. But no statement victories outside of beating. They did. I, I, I did no like no wild moments with losses. They had he had losses to OKC, Golden State, only 22 and 23 points. Toronto, Cleveland, Boston, Phoenix, Minnesota, and San the Spurs. He lost to the Spurs. Now he did have his moment over Embiid. Which that's one of the moments where I felt like Embiid was supposed to show he was that dude. He scored more than Jokic, which he I, I guess he's a better scorer. That's I do remember fine. Remember that game? Yeah, but Jokic. Uh, yeah, uh, what I, I mean, that was the only type 
victory that I feel like down the and stretch. And most of those losses you listed were against Western Conference. Like, that's in conference. You yeah. Got, you know, but you teams like OKC and uh, San Antonio, you can't be losing to. Them is non-playoff teams, uh, especially if you're the MVP. Not to mention what they they did lose in, what, five? But we, we're not going to – it's a regular season award. And from the regular season, I just didn't see much. If you just go with his PER, which is 32.8, which is really how he got it in the first place. This whole advanced analytical stuff is maybe how he got it. But he he never had no statement victories. I then MB after the All Star break, they went they went for while when he played, they went fourteen and eight. He averaged thirty two point six, twelve point eight, one point five blocks and three and a half assists. He he dot but he pretty much dominated the whole season. Uh Lost post, uh, they lost, but the problem is his statement victories. The first Brooklyn and uh, Philly matchup, they lost that game. He didn't dominate. They lost to Miami. He only had 22 points. He he did outscore Jokic, but they lost. They did lose to Denver in that game. Big monster game versus Phoenix. They didn't get the dub. He had 37 points, and he had the uh, the the war, the battle with Giannis, and Giannis outperformed and got the game with the block on his head. He didn't get it done right there. So there's a lot down the stretch where Embiid could have won it, where we would have known it. But he, I see where the areas where he lost it at, and that's why he wasn't my MVP because I he did I felt like he did lose it. And who gained the momentum was the reigning champ, the Finals MVP himself, the actual best player in the league. Yeah, I said it, the best player in the league, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Four, he he had the best record after this is all after All Star break for everybody. Fourteen and four okay. after All Star break with a fifty one and thirty one overall record. After the All Star break, he averaged thirty. 31.1, 12.6 assists. I don't know if you got my graphic, but if you do, can you pull it up? But uh, average 31.1, 12.6 assists, 5.1, uh, no, 12.6 rebounds and 5.1 assists. My fault. Statement wins over Phoenix and Miami. He outperformed and beat. He outperformed and beat with a 40. Uh, and when he had to get, he had a four, he had 40, 14, and six, and a game winning block. Uh, he closed out against Brooklyn with a step back three, 44, 14, and six. He battled with Boston uh, down the stretch, 29, 11, and five, with big performances against the Hawks. Of course, 43 and 37, that's a playoff team. They had 10 wins down the stretch versus a playoff team, and one and one versus the Nuggets. The one game Jokic did, Jokic missed the first game, but that was so early in the season. But the second game, they, the Nuggets did get the dub, but Jokic didn't do all that. But in the two victories against the two games, against the Nuggets, he averaged 26 and a half, 11, 4.5. And like I said, down the stretch, I felt like he showed why he, he went a credible hawk on him, and that's why I like that. Yep. But. Gotcha. Somehow, the advanced analytics, PER, all, I don't know. Numbers, the numbers game. Will? I don't know. The eye test, I don't know. They're not watching the games. They're just looking at results. Will think The results ain't dubs. I agree with what he said, man. To, to It's a regular season award, and I guess as you look, like you said, it was no Michael Porter Jr., None of his cast was there. It was just a him by himself alone. But I look at the numbers, too, and it's real close with Embiid because Embiid averaging 30.6 a, a game. And then Jokic Sports, had 27, yeah. point, you know, 27 points a game. Yeah. Rebounds for Embiid was 11.7 compared to Jokic's 13.8. So the numbers is real close. But I'm looking at more of the direction of where they want to see the NBA go into. You know, they want that international feel to come more to the NBA. Uh -huh. You have your local or national players that maybe they want to start getting away from, you know. Maybe they want to see more of, you know, the MBs. Look, look at the top three. Those are all international players. Yeah. And then you got uh, – huh. I'm thinking of his name, Dallas. Uh, yeah, Luka. 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 Yeah, Doncic. Hmm. He's international. He's up there in that race. So you start to look at that. It's all marketing. It's all business. It's all a ploy. And at the end of the day, who's playing for MVP? I think everybody's playing for the Larry O'Brien trophy. So no matter what you can do in the regular season, you get to the first round, no matter if you got help on your team or not, you got to figure out some way to prevail if you're an MVP. So respect this reward. I'm not discrediting anything that he's earned. Because he's went out there after night after night. It's not easy. Like I said, I played softball I double header yesterday. 
seven, 67 games. I was too. hurt today, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was hurt. Lower extremities hurt. <laughs> From just, <laughs> just, yeah, just a couple of sprints to get a couple of outs on defense, a couple of sprints to first base. Double header. We play about two or three hours. Hurt. So what these guys are actually going through, no matter if we want to do a Monday quarterback or, you know, the fan that's on the sideline that's heckling these guys, man, put some respect on these dudes because not too many that can even run up and down the court three times, you know, have my man Jeremiah don't want to go back to how he happened in December, but, you know, stuff happens like that. Ankle sprain, yeah. These guys' guys bodies have to hold up (laughs) night after night, but at the end of the day, that award is is just that it, it's not it don't hold the same type of. That's a good point. Is when they say quoi, you know. That's a good point as well. It doesn't have quite down, the man. the luster that yeah, it's watered down. It watered down the MVP like they watered down the goat talk. Like it's, and that's it's, interesting too. Down, I didn't man. think about there. You know, the three front runners are all international yeah. superstar, and then you got Luca. I mean, it's a broad game that's got a lot of reach. That's pretty cool. It does appeal you to superstars. Cameroon. You like got, you've, for instance, which which uh, Embiid's from Cameroon, Giannis is from, of course, Greece. I think uh, Jokic is from uh, Siberia. Yeah, Siberia. Siberia. And speaking Siberia. of Jokic and his, Will's got a little clip here. Let's see what we got. I think it's Jokic getting his award. He's getting over this award. This is how when you're in Siberia, this is how you receive. That's your award. the issue. He's getting his award <laughs> over in Siberia instead of in the second round of the playoffs. That's the problem. He should be playing in the second round. Most valuable what? And then at the, at this point, is Giannis considered to just man? enjoy the video? No, <laughs> bro. I don't want to watch it because he shouldn't be getting it. Like, bro, he should be if he was at, at least if he was in a Denver Nuggets jersey, just a Nike tank top, pulling up on Rich Strike, boy. Dude. <laughs> Rich Strike cousin, getting it in the barn, <laughs> rolling on the chariot. Oh, this is disgusting. disgusting. Cut it off, man. He can't take it. <laughs> <I'm about> to, <laughs> It's almost like I see a Packers jersey. Man, bro, stop, man. Get this out of here. Let me stop before his brothers get on me. That's Let me, dude, right? Hey, 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 hey. I don't want no smoke with the uh, with the Jokic, Jokic brothers. brothers. It's dude, just man. a joke. Like the damn trophy. Man, stop playing with me. All right. <laughs> All right, dude. Hot takes. You're right, though. The bro, last thing I do want to throw up is... Giannis had the best case. Embiid, I kind of agree. Yeah. Here's the other case. We mentioned this. Joel Embiid was the first center to win the scoring title since Shaq in 99. You know what Shaq did that year? He won MVP. <laughs> That's right. Like you said, not quite. He also won a trophy. Same. Well, I wasn't for sure if he won a trophy that year. I do believe it was 99. Oh, no. was the Spurs. That's old, old. I want to say he might be that one. Yeah, no, nah, that's the Spurs. Year. The Spurs 99. This is 2000. No, nah, 98, 99 is Jordan. 99, 2000 is the Spurs. 2000, 2001, 2001, 2002, 2002, 2003 is the Lakers. I think I'm thinking which one was the, the lob from Kobe to... Shaq, that, that was 2000, 2001. No, that might have been in the second. Against I think that Rangers. was in the. I think that was in the repeat. Somebody help us out in the chat, real quick. Oh no, man! Any Laker fans out here? Yeah, I, 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 you know, I was anti Laker before Brian got there. So Brian getting there just ain't got nothing to do with that. All right, we're gonna continue on with 76ers talk and the guy Joel Embiid playing like MVP. Minus last night, man. I was right. They got blown out. As you Lakers, can see, Willis. The Lakers did. Real quick, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I did do the facts recheck. Uh, the Lakers did win in that 2000. Yeah, that was their the back-to-back, back, right? 2000, oh, it was in 2001. 2001 right? Lakers back-to-back. Back. Or was it 99? It wasn't 99, 2000. 2000, yeah. The Lakers back-to-back back was. 2001 or not, 2000? Uh, 99, 99 and 2000. 2000. Spurs would have been 01, I think. Anyway, we're moving on. Heat and 76ers. Oh, no. Let's Hold break on. it down. Heat blew them out last night uh, you, uh, by he, 35, I think. Rumor. Rumor. 120.85. Rumor report. Rumor report. Jared's rumor report. I don't know. Uh, breaking news? I'm, I'm hearing that the, the, one of the, the, the celebrity superstars was in the club at 5 in the morning. That's what I heard. In Miami, yeah. Nice. Not What's nice. going on? Yeah, that's why they got blew out because they in the club partying versus not. Play. Oh, I got you. Yeah, who was in there? What's the report? I didn't hear nothing. Yeah, James Hardhead. Yeah, you know, oh, <laughs> not James. Yeah, bro, I think he affecting them players. They talk about that man. The my that's the Miami Heat home court advantage is the clubs in Miami and South Beach. Yeah, if booty. you ain't disciplined, yeah. right? Exactly. Guess who ain't disciplined? 
Jay that 30, 33, 34 some odd year old man. Oh, man, that's what happened when you that old with no kids and no wife. Living you do what life, you want to do. Instead of going home to your family, going home to the club d- during a playoff night. I know it was a Monday night. or I, like I feel like they got them. MB came back. They got them two dubs going back to Miami. Probably flew down to Miami early. Clubbed it, clubbed it, clubbed it all the way up until game night. Clubbed it game night. Went out there. Lethargic. Terrible. My MVP runner up didn't even look like the MVP like he should have been. And also like he not playing good right now. But he's banged up. That's when you that's they made this trade for a reason. They yep. need to step up. But I like I said, I feel like Harden affected Maxi. Like he ain't the type of big I don't think he the right big homie. Like he's showing him my, the stuff with not <laughs> like I don't think he the right big homie, man. Affecting Maxi, man. I, I think about it on that aspect of what you just was bringing up as far as them clubbing or partying in South Beach. You work your regular hour, 40 hours a week, however many extra overtimes. At some point, you leave your work at work and you want to go home and relax. Right. And not feel like, you know, we don't really know how long James was in the club. We don't know if he was really out here throwing up. Ones well, and whatever he was doing, I know he was where at he live. wasn't at. He wasn't in the gym. He wasn't in the gym. He wasn't with him you shooting in the gym. Shooting in the I know nah, he was about to go there. You wasn't even shooting in the gym. That's what it is. But do you deem sometimes you need to relax? You need to just de-escalate. You, it's all this stress it's on top of playoffs. It's playoffs. Yeah, it's stressful, man. No. So let me just go down no. here. I ain't no. popping bottles of Ace. Mm-hmm. I'm chilling with Ace Hood. Nope. DJ Khaled, Trick nope. Daddy. We down in MIA. Nope. Nah. Nah. Nope. I don't know, man, James. I nope. told you a nope. couple weeks ago. Nope. I told you a couple weeks ago, James. We may end up. All I can do up. is shake my head, bro. No. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Jerry don't want to hang with uh, Mr. Harden. He wants to hang with, you know. Uh, I don't know. He he sounds like he focused on on getting better, and I can't deny that. I don't condemn him being in the club. Job ja was just in the club probably about two weeks ago, and they they crucify him for it, but. Man, let your hair down at some point. Just make sure you actually performing on the court. You got to show up when it's time, man. Y'all was performing until the injury. Until the injury. But I'm talking about James. But, no, nah, James, nah. James got to show up. Them stats ain't lying. We're, we got the graphic. Can we get where of that? Yeah. Which one you want? The, the one Harden from the herd first. Half? Oh, I got you. Shout out Colin. Stats don't That's, lie. Look at this. Walk us through the graphic, guys. Ghost. James St. Patrick, and this is why he's at. Does Harden have another gear? No. That's the question. What is Harden's other gear? What can he kick it to? And game four, they were saying, well, that's the second half. That's This is all second half. So game four, they was like, Harden's back. That's probably what happened. He had a good game four and his butt went to club live. That's that's exactly what happened. Man. I, can, I can see it now. Ain't nothing wrong with going to club live. It's just don't tell me you want to you wanna, uh, go, you, you're there for a championship. Just don't tell me that. Just don't, don't, don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining, man. Just, just don't do that. Then we cool. Just, that's that's this goes into the whole. Time. Just tell me you there. They had a good time. It was boring in Brooklyn because they was actually trying to you know win, and in Philly, you know, uh, Embiid's focus was actually the MVP. Well, I know he won a quote unquote championship too, but I don't know how much locked in he is right now. Only person who I know is locked in is that man Antetokounmpo. We gonna have to get an update with that score too. But yeah, James Harden. No, not good. 62-59. Boston three-point lead, 6-20 in the third. Giannis had 19 at the half. Like I said, the best player on the planet, man. He's the best big man in the game. I mean, you could say the best player, and he's also a power forward, so he is a big man. He's the best big man. I don't want to hear that stuff about Jokic. None of that. Before, right, well, we, before we go to the Bucks, I'm gonna and, say, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's finish up the, the 76ers. Oh, they going back. To Philly tomorrow, and we all know that the home teams has been dominating. Yep. Uh, are we looking for James Harden to actually show up at home? Now you can pull my graphic. Or, I mean. Stat Muse. Shout out to each, the club. Each time that the home team was at home, the home team has won. Yep. So, being down 3-2, don't really look that bad for Philly. But I think it may have blood in the water right now. I was going right to say, the way they played last night, it looks bad for them going home. You are right. The home team has been dominating in both cases. Yeah. The instances with game three and four for the 76ers 
was they didn't have Embiid for games one and two. So he comes in, really makes that instant impact yeah. at home. You know, Role MVP players quality step light. up, knock him out three and four. Except game five. He's banged up with the eye bruise. His hand's still hurt. And go back to Miami game five, get blown out. So I think a beat-up Philly team is going back home for game six, and I think the Heat are going to walk them out. Yep. So, but we'll see if James Harden can step up in elimination games. No, I mean, I don't have no reason to believe that because my man James Hardhead is definitely <laughs> – James Harden is uh, nine – and 12 in elimination games. And my best part is is just that it's right there. James Harden record in playoff elimination games. Bam. Not good. Nine. He averages <laughs> 24, 5.4, 5.7 uh, assists, which is totally down from what he's supposed to be averaging. Uh, I wish I don't got I don't got his turnover margin right now, but the turnovers Ooh. aren't good. Heck, it was a Houston versus OKC game that he had 10 turnovers. Does he? But he's not. Nah, man. With the closeout... All these closeout games, he mm-mm, 17 points against uh, the Rockets. He had in uh, 2020, that's the bubble. He had all these games against the Warriors, both games where he didn't get it done. Oh, my goodness. That's when the day. Yeah, it's terrible, bro. He got he to gotta show me, which I don't believe it. I don't believe in him because he's already doing what he normally does. He's already doing what he normally does. I got you. You are right. All right, cut you back in. So is it just a bad night, or is it like, I mean, it's obviously Maybe home court advantage. Beat. But I mean, how do you go back home or go on the road and try to do the same thing that you just did on the road? Or how do you go on the road and do the same thing you just did at home? How can you close out a series? Because if we keep doing what we just did, we're going seven, correct? Yeah, I mean, you know, the first four say that, but. I think last night, like I said, Philly's more beat up, more disheartened. Harden's going to still be hung over. He's going to hit the club on the way out before he hops on the plane. Also, I think the Heat are just like, tired of it. I think maybe two wins in Philly, Jimmy and Tyler Hero. I mean, the role players are stepping up. Out of, but they yeah, just Jimmy, had enough the last of them. Loss in Philly, he had 40-something. Right. Like 44. Three, four, so, I mean, he's ready. Like uh, the role players need to step up for Miami. Maybe they'll be comfortable going back after having played two there. So, when you check out the stats of, of uh, Miami's players, you look down the list, everybody's contributing. P.J. Tucker with 10, Butler with 23, out of bio 12. Um, just everybody, their whole entire starting five was in double digits. And then you're getting help off the bench with Oladipo and Hero. You're not getting the same in return for Philly. You got two, you have literally three guys in double figures in that last game. So I don't know if the road is really affecting these players where they're shooting, you they know, uh, Tobias Harris shooting five or 14, Maxi two for 10. Like, okay. you're not you're not getting your, you're not shooting in the gym when you're on the road. Tobias is always who Tobias is. That's what Tobias does. And he shoots four for I think Maxi was the hype. We thought Maxi was on going to be on what Jordan Poole was on, but... Like I said, I feel like he got the wrong big ball. Jordan Poole got the big homies of Stephen Clay, been there, done that. He, uh, meanwhile, Maxi got the big homie of Harden, which Harden might be the cool guy. He might be the cool uncle at the cookout, but he ain't doing it. He man. ain't even that cool, I bet. I bet he's a punk to hang out with. Man, I think he's probably. <laughs> I'm going to find out. I'll let y'all know. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll let y'all know. He probably James. know how to have a good time. Hit me up, James, man. He, he probably know how to have a good time, but. I'm just saying, Maxie don't got the right big homies around him, and Embiid him, himself is still learning. Well, we saw the clip of didn't he want to, Maxie didn't want to sit next to Harden on the bench or something. Did you guys see that? I think it was before game five. I think it was after game four. Mm-hmm. They came off, Harden sat down. They gave, said something. Ty, Maxie yeah, sat down a couple one. seats down. Harden moved and sat next to him, and Maxie got up and just moved back to the front of the bench. Yeah, like nobody rocking with you right now, dude. Right. Who, who, and you can't have that dysfunction who shot when you're ghosts? going up against the Heat, man. Like they're the number one seed in the East yes, for a reason. What's the? Like, uh, he got outplayed by the backcourt of the Heat, and the backcourt of the Heat was some undrafted players. Like it's not. You can't do it, man. That's nice stuff. All right, there it is. He in six, man. I'm saying it. Yep, agreed. I think they're going to go ahead and knock him out at home. 
and I think Philly. it's better for them to go that. ahead and knock them out right now because the way that this Bucks and, and uh, Boston right now, healthy. with Boston being up six points going into close to the fourth quarter, third quarter is about 456 left. But uh, those two going to keep battling back and forth. That can potentially go seven. So I think it's better for Miami to go ahead, take care of business. It's an elimination game. Yeah. For rest. sure. Get and some then rest. After they win, they can go back home and party in club live. Dude, rightfully right. so. There you go. All right, you nailed it. Bucks are up seven. The last I just see, six, uh, yep, six. 71 65, 407 left in the third. How much Giannis got? Dude, big boy basketball, man. I'll pull it up right here. I wonder if he's still struggling against Horford. I ain't watching this game live. Yeah, Giannis got a cool 25. Man, how, all right. So here's the main yeah, thing. Here's the main half. thing I want to know: How do you stop, like physically, when he just plows into the yeah, lane, man. man? There ain't nothing you can do about it. Marcus Smart's been doing a good job of taking charges as best they can if they call them. Right. But it's just you know, do they call them? And it, you know, they're gonna just uh, they start letting them play a little bit because at some point there's nothing you can do. It's just contact. But he's six ten and like you let he's a freight train on yeah. to choo choo man <laughs> on to choo choo. I can't <laughs> stop. You can't stop like him. That. Look, looking at looking at the numbers once I, again. I got that from Josh Dover, Altitude Sports Radio, ninety two five in Denver. He calls him on to choo choo. Yeah, he that. is a freight train, train. dude. Right, freight train for sure. <laughs> but I think you you kind of use that as. You can Almost use like you use it against them. You allow Giannis to continue to go in there. You look at Brooke Lopez has two. Drew Holiday has Ooh, 14. Uh, Grayson Allen has eight. Okay. There's not too many people on this team that's really contributing on. And they're only playing eight players right now. Yep. You know, they have more on the bench that's not playing. So that's going to come into a big factor of, of this one. So. Boston being still being fueled off less games because they swept the first round, so they're still a little bit more healthier than uh, Milwaukee right now. Yep. I think they're really like missing Middleton. I think Middleton is a huge piece on that team, and with Giannis having to exert himself so much, that I mean that it can't be well by the Holiday end of the game. Ain't been consistent enough yep. in his second five in the secondary right role. That's He's right. Good but the last tonight, game the when la- they lost, yep. I think he sh- he shot terrible, like three for twenty. I'll take a look here. But something. Yeah, you got that on right. I, My other man. thing would be, yeah, definitely missing Chris Middleton, Pat Connaughton, who can, that was sh- who can closer, shoot though. lights out. Pat Connaughton isn't really filling in that missing role. Nope. Need a little bit more help from and, George Hill. And Wesley Can't Matthews. Really get Wesley Matthews, there. on the defensive end, he's doing his thing, but he got to hit a little, bit, a little bit more of them jump shots. And they were talking about that last night on the telecast, or two nights ago, you know, Brooke Lopez's effect on the defensive side. He's really stepping in. But I think Boston, like you said, just let Giannis get 40 because they can shut down the rest of their role players pretty well. Yeah. Boston can hold it out. I mean, it's tough battling. It's tough going. It's a fight. You know, they've all been close for the most part. Milwaukee just got to keep it solid on the defensive end. But, you know, the key is Middleton. Chris Mitty Middleton. Yeah, he's important right now. That's, that's the second best player on that team. Yep. Like the, it's a big three over there, but a big. I mean, Drew, yeah, Drew Holiday ain't no slough, but no, nah, but he's that he's the third guy. Yeah, he's right really the, the guy to take away the other team's best guard, or maybe yeah. even wing if need be, because he's really. If I know Marcus Smart got the, the award, but Drew Holiday is very capable of winning that award himself. Gotcha. So well, on the, you know, here you go. Talk about spreading it out. Boston Tatum's got twenty two. Horford's got. Excuse me, Smart's got 12, Jalen Brown's got 15, Daniel Tice has 11, Derek White, yeah, he's got nine. So when you do that, you know, like the Heat the other night, they had seven dudes, I think, scoring double foot, double digits. Spread the ball That's around. points minimal right there. Dude, yeah. I mean, and Milwaukee just doesn't have quite that as much. Boston's been doing a good job. Al Horford, man, game four, come on. 30. Big game four. Big Man, dude, for. Shout out and to he was he was getting dragged up and down the floor. High Giannis, IQ dude, basketball, getting smart, beat up. He's thirty. He's my age, player. thirty-five, yeah. dude. Smart, like, smart basketball player. And yeah. of course, to be in today's game, you got to be able to have a jump shot. He got his jump shot, and he's a smart basketball player, so he know how to play smart defense, which is why he he used to make him beast. Remember, uh, he was in beast kryptonite too until they finally got over that hump. 
for the uh, for Horford. That's why they tried to bring Horford o- over, but Boston realized not. Nah, they needed Horford back. But and uh, Har- Al Horford is a, cha- a back-to-back champion at Florida right now. His college coach is my basketball coach in Chicago, and like, nah, he does his thing, man. But like I said, smart player, always solid, mid-range. Hit the three. Got that experience. Kick and, yeah, out. he was hitting yeah. those threes and t- tough body against Giannis, man. Horford. And that's what you need, every, you know, random night. Instead of Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum both going for 30, Brown gets into foul trouble early. Yeah. He's got four mid-third quarter, whatever. You know, Horford steps in. He's that second role player, fills up 30, him and Tatum. There's 62 combined or whatever. That's a tough squad, man. And Boston, you know, they've been playing like it since New Year's Day. So I'm actually, you know, I'm rooting for the Bucks for sure. I uh, kind of like that's the thing about my fanhood. Like I'm pretty anti Boston, just in yeah, general. I feel right. but I, I, don't, I don't like the I, Celtics. I like I'm a fan like of Jason Jace, Tatum. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Because he says he's just a cool kid on the block. Man, you right. can't be mad. Killer, young killer, man, young killer. But he wear that green. Man. I don't <laughs> like that. Again, I don't like the Celtics because I was once a LeBron fan. That's why I don't like the Celtics. I got you. I, I, it made my dude go to South Beach. I never forget. <laughs> yeah, talk about it. That's probably why you really right. got that hat. You know, when Brian rolled, I rolled. I, I dude, I got on the Wade train, man. Those 06 finals. Yeah. I was in college. Yeah. Cop the sneakers, man. They were tight. I like them kicks. All right. The black and white ones. The Converse. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, For the sure. I got a picture of me. he ever had because then once he went to Jordan, yeah. brand, I don't know what he was thinking. I wore those around I Japan. I think he got dude. his own The Way of Wade trash. <laughs> he Wade's way his trash. <laughs> But right. that's beside the point. Uh, free throw shooting has been another big one in this series. Giannis not playing like an MVP. Got to make free throws. Yeah, he about to start that countdown well, pretty I mean, soon again. Who he yeah. is. Remember the countdown from last year? Yeah. But he, he's even shooting below. <laughs> like He's shooting like 60%. Man, that's hilarious when they do that. But he's been shooting bad in accounts, man, when these are – one yeah. point, two point, I think he five point games. Total free throws this game, this series, and three pointers. He's just got to give that up and just get to yeah. the bucket. He's four for twenty in the playoffs. Last I heard, something you like that. Got to go back. To Not being, good. He got to go back to being locked in. And that's where you miss Chris Middleton. You know, you got that outside perimeter threat. They don't have a whole lot of perimeter threat at the moment. And it's a lot of three point shooting, but nobody right. really afraid of on that. Yeah. And to be honest with you, I know they won a championship <laughs> last year, but they missing a the key piece in PJ Tucker. And Dude, they, yeah, they, my, right. he's in Miami right yeah. now, and Miami's prevailing with him. And I think that Giannis and Middleton and Allen and all those guys in Milwaukee, I think they're really yeah. missing that piece. Because PJ to take any type of pressure Tatum. off of. Uh, oh, was he? No, he would be. He would be. Saying. How yeah. tall is Pete? Well, he's about six, 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 six seven. But, he, but he's, he's a scout, defensive man, player. Right, That's his. You know, he's a defensive right. player. He's a he bulldog for them. He looked like a DN <laughs> tight end. But nah, yeah. You remember, he was a primary defender for Kevin Durant last year. Even though Kevin Durant gave him buckets. Yeah, but they want to talk about what happened this year. Everybody messed up, but he still averaged 26, you know. But I, I don't make me pull my flame out. Like, nah. But, yeah, nah. He'd be a primary defender on Tatum, and so that way Giannis, because Giannis is best as a free safety versus a primary defender where he could get that block and could gotcha. get that extra board. Or he ain't got to necessarily bang with everybody. Put Get on Tatum when they put, if they put him in the pick and roll or something. But, yeah, they taking away. That's where Wesley Matthews is supposed to come in, but he ain't like that. He's a two-way player, but he ain't no. All right, you can well, give yeah, us Milwaukee. Matthews buckets. Milwaukee missing a few pieces. Boston in control, man. Boston takes this game. In Giannis' but defense, you're they went back to Milwaukee too, though. Yeah, and yep. they did go down three-two to Brooklyn last year and finished the job. So yep. the series ain't over with Giannis. And if even if Boston go up three-two, I guarantee it's going to be three-three coming back to Boston, and that's going to be for the Marbles. They maybe and try and a, force Middleton back early if he's. You don't do that. Man. I don't even. Uh, don't. Somebody in the chat, can y'all give me an update on Middleton? I don't even know if he's still out indefinitely. I don't know if it was a timetable. I, I haven't I seen. I think it, it might have been a conference return. Like yeah, if they make it to the conference finals, he can make it to the he can make it to the conference finals return. Because I think in the case of the Warriors, I know that's a different injury. But Gary Payne Jr., if they make it to the finals, he could come back. But. I don't. I don't remember what was wrong. With I'm pretty sure he's out for the. Let's see. Nothing. Three hours ago. Nothing official yet, but don't be surprised if Middleton returns this series. I'm being told he's progressing well, and the Bucks are not ruling him out for Game Six and Seven if necessary. Source calling it a strong, strong possibility he's back for Game Six. 
This is coming from Donio Melendez, Dario Melendez, yeah. sports director WISN and 12, which would be Milwaukee, I think. Yeah. Uh, ESPN. Sharda said that he was practicing. They said that he was practicing yesterday. Could so. return for the conference finals. But from what you're reading, if they need him, they could pull him out the chamber. That was three hours Ho- ago. Yeah, hopefully. It, I, mean, I don't think Middleton will pull up Ben Simmons where I'm going to target game three and never show up. Yeah, Milwaukee, W I S N twelve. So, uh, yeah, so that's an inside man. Local hopefully Milwaukee man. News. Yeah, hopefully that's not fake news. Twitter man, see, people, a lot of people hate on Twitter. Don't like Twitter man. That's one thing I like about it. You can find those local sports journalists. I always try and do that, like fantasy football season. Go oh, yeah. diving into the city's local it's, ABC it's dude that and time. see what they got, man. It's, it's almost that I heard time. an e- I heard a fantasy football show on ESPN last night. Right? Driving back from Centerville, I couldn't believe it. Oh, it man. May tenth. All right, so, anyway, back to Bucks Celtics. Yeah, last thing I had was Giannis, some free throw trouble. Uh, you know, this one's kind of out of the ref's hands. They've been, you know, some questionable calls here and there. It's been the Giannis, all throughout the play. The Giannis dunk on Horford was awesome. The Horford dunk on Giannis was awesome. Shh. Banging and crashing, just kind of got to let him go, man. It just seemed like this. It's not enough for Milwaukee right now. Yeah, like it's going into the fourth quarter, eighty six seventy seven right now. <laughs> Twitter it's, is the best source it, it, of my it's opinion. It's not enough. I mean, Giannis with thirty two. The next player is is Holiday with sixteen. Everybody what's, what's else he, is not in double figures yet. So what's that? What's the, uh? What's he shooting? Giannis. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, uh, Holiday Drew. six for sixteen. That's two for minutes. five from the three point line. About thirty eight percent. Yeah, that ain't. That he need thirty minutes. And you got today. sixteen points. You need more than one player on a, in a playoff game. Yeah, it's a team. All right, game. so here's a question from the chat. Yeah, how many minutes would you play Middleton if you got to have a must win game at home? If you go down, bring him off the bench. Let him finish the game if he's on the minutes restriction. I, I don't know why they always try to throw on the minutes restriction. They try to get the heavy load in the front early, and then take him out. And then when it's critical time, they don't play whoever it is on the minutes restriction. So hopefully, they if they do rush him back because they need him. You know, like a, just like the Stephen Curry injury, bring him off the bench. I'm sure Middleton is. I would imagine Middleton's that type of guy, got that type of character where he'd be like, you know, I come Absolutely. off the bench because he he just want to help the team win by any means. I agree with that. Like you know, people like Harden or Russell might not do that, but I think Chris would do that. And about twenty, uh, de- depending on how good he's feeling, if he's about an 90 percent, go ahead. 25, 30 minutes. Bump it up, man. It's the playoffs. You got to put it all on the line. He got his contract. You already won a championship. You know what it takes. You got to get out there and just do it. If you feel like you're ready to go, go. If you right. ain't, sit out. It's my, yeah, must play. And he seems like that, you know, if he gets called up, yeah, test it early, kind of see how it goes. Move on. Pro, I mean, pro, you know, pro doctors, Facts. best doctors in the world, physical trainers, all that business. So we'll wait and see. But. All right, that is the East Division, or Eastern Conference, excuse me. Out of the four teams left in the East, who you think coming out? The four I teams hear. left in the East, who's coming out? Go go down to MIA in Boston. Like, whatever, who can come out of that game? All right, of course, obviously, who can come out of that is going to go to the finals, but. I'll take I, Boston. Out of MIA and MIL. I hope it's Mil- I want Milwaukee to win. But yeah. I think Boston's going to do it. I'll take Boston Eastern Conference champs right now. Eastern Conference champs? Yep, right now. What's today's date? 5-11. 5-11. Boston going to win Eastern Conference. You heard it here. Oh, I, I can't remember what I said earlier. Um, but they playing like they playing like one of the best teams. They are. In the league, let's talk about the best team in the league record-wise. Arguably Bucks. the best team in the league I got all the Bucks season. Out. You ta- all right, go ahead, finish that. Uh, yeah, I got the Bucks Easter Conference champs this year. Going nice. back to the going back to the finals after my original pick, but no, out of the teams that's left, I got Milwaukee. All on Giannis back, man. That's what that is. A hundred percent. Who are you I, taking? Man, I, you got MIA. I'm taking him. I said that weeks ago. I'm yeah, taking him did. to the finals. I don't know if it's going to be enough without Ja and Memphis. So I don't know if they're going. Yeah, I think they pretty much take a fork in them. Eastern Conference. Will Ward right now. Dead. Miami Miami 305, Miami Dade. All right. Nice nice segue into. So you want to get. Yeah, talking about the best team 
arguably in the league all season. They got the best record. That's the Phoenix, Phoenix fan in the chat. Oh, we got a Suns fan in the chat. Get out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was still thinking about Suns and Four Guy last year harassing the Nuggets, man. All those memes and stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's still hilarious. Yeah, Suns and so Four. So, Phoenix Suns, Devin Booker. <laughs> Kid can play. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the Luca special right there. Oh, we ain't got that clip. Oh man, uh, you know hey, that's, man, that, that's when that. Buck got hurt. Well, not got hurt, but he, he that flagrant foul, that flagrant one, he fell oh, down. Yeah. That the, the fans is yelling, "Stay down, Buck! Stay down, Buck! Stay down!" Nope. He, look up, peek up. That's the Luca special <laughs> right there. Get back on defense, or get back go shoot the free throws. Hey man. <laughs> They out there, them boys out there balling. The Suns is legit, but I already knew that they was going to be the Phoenix. The, I'm just happy that Dallas was able to make it close, but it's a wrap, man. Yeah, I had yeah. Suns at six the whole time. They're going to get, yeah. Suns is six, but the Suns, the Suns will, uh, we ain't got, well, we, we talk about who come out the West, but the Suns will make it to the Western Conference Finals at minimum. Because just like Giannis, but no, nah, at least Giannis got a better support in the cast, and then they done that. Lucas, if you can keep the, depending on Dorian Finney Smith, dude, man, where where did he come from? What's his deal? He can what he he was a eight for, what did he do? Eight for twelve on three the other night. Not last night. <laughs> he was trash yeah, last night. The last home game, yeah, eight for twelve from three. Sunday, yeah, Monday. Yeah, he was eight for twelve from three and definitely helped out Giannis. I mean Giannis Luca a lot that night. But last night they couldn't buy a shot and uh, Smith. Buck and Smith. Hardaway. Ooh. NHL update real quick. New York Rangers piled on in the second half. Tied 3-3 going into the third period. New York Rangers trying to stay alive. All right. Boston Celtics up 11. Woo. Ooh, wait. Up 12. 91-79. 10-50 to play in the fourth. 10-50 to play in the fourth. Celtics on cruise control. Oh, man. Yeah, they cruising at this point. They got some 10,000 feet world. altitude. They got to get enough stops. It, it only come down to stops because every bucket going to be gritty yep. for the Bucks Without without Middleton, because the, uh, they don't got too many creators on the offense. Not at all. Yep. So that's the problem. You need, you 12 need points is easy. So yeah, Bucks aren't quite equipped for that, like you said. So. You can't you can't have specialists. You got to hey, have look, creators. Back-to-back play. Well, I guess the turnover is considered uh, offensive charge by Giannis is turnover in the yep. same, Who same took sense. It? Uh, I'm not for sure they don't say who took it, but right. it just says he got a uh, charge, and that's what he's turning into that choo 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 choo. Here we go. I'm about <laughs> to do whatever it takes to get to the win. Get to but it. you getting turnovers now, you getting sloppy. So that's why it's. Oh, I think it's over. Boston in six, but um, it's right. gonna be tough, man. It's tough, but you know, like you said, NBA Finals MVP for a reason last year. All that business might just need some help, which kind of translates to this Dallas Phoenix series. I'm looking at the stats from last night. <sighs> Man, Jalen Brunson 21, Luka Doncic 28. The next is Bertans with 10, and everybody else in single it. digits. Man, that's rough. The Mavericks scored 56 points, I think, in the final three quarters. So I you know, I, last night, and I, huh? Got we got to be about thirty, yeah. and I think they ten to eighty, and that's it was two blows last night because the uh, the Sixers yeah. lost by thirty five. Yeah. Oh my god! So game five, teams getting settled in. About I didn't, eighty. You know, I think it's eighty three percent, or is it eighty point three percent? For what? The uh, game five winner goes on to win the series, either eighty three percent or eighty point three percent. That's like that. probably eighty. But is Look. Phoenix defense that good? I mean, yeah. I think the offense just – you're not mustering up. In the playoffs, you need all forces go. Everybody needs to show up to the deck and, and help out together. Definitely. And, right and if you're not having multiple players, as we just seen in Miami, if your stat line's not looking in the points department as far as scoring – and what are you doing? I mean, obviously the defense is playing a little bit, but I think you're just getting off shot. And you're missing those – you're missing more than you're actually making, and you know there's yeah you know, it's all it's not all just scoring you know it's not all just kind of numbers you know looking into you know role players and their contributions they make that aren't quantifiable you know just good defense stepping into passing lanes blah blah blah. You know, How do you have Mavericks a just can't match up with them? Is that it? Hey, you have a player in Reggie Bullock 
and he played 35 minutes, and he gives you no points last night. Like how? He's your starting small forward. He's your three-point specialist. Shout out to my former Tar Heel, though. I ain't gonna do him dirty, but that's what it is, man. He's he's. Uh, I wish we had uh, the Dallas fan in here with uh, somebody. Somebody hit up Justin, just Justin Howard, Brian Raymond. Somebody hit up them Dallas fans. We need their opinions. I don't know what's going on. What happened? How you hanging yeah, out? Sure that he was just screaming out, looking party about a week ago. Right, how you hanging? This out, <laughs> saw, saw right here, and I saw right here. Yeah. We went from Ice Trey to Luca real the fast. In the chat. Seven four zero. Uh, what's the rest of it? Miles, you got. <laughs> We he, want some, anybody want in? My, we got the best bench in the league. Does Phoenix have the best bench in the league? Mm, that's debatable. Deba- yeah, what? Well, tell me about it. I mean, that dude got a solid. I'm Corey gonna, Craig, Wainwright, JaVale, Cameron Artis Payne. I really don't like their backup guards. Landry like Schmidt. I hate Schmidt. Shamit. I, I hate Shamit. Yeah, Shamit. I'll be like, God, Shamit. He's been on <laughs> he's been on the team. He's when he was on Philly when I was rooting for Philly, they lost. He was on Brooklyn when they, they played for Brooklyn, they lost. Uh I don't any team that got Shamit on it, I'm sorry, Miles. They don't they ain't gonna win. <laughs> I don't like Shamit, bro. He he jacks up shots. He take away shots from the star player. He liked that dude Niang for the Sixers. Right. Niang just be jacking up. Like, bro, like if I hear another oh, Niang misses, like, bro, stop shooting. But like, uh, yeah, he's one of those players. I think the uh, the Celtics got a nice bench, and the Heat is a very deep team. The actually with with right. them actually having the six man of the year, I might have to give that nod to them. The Heat might have the best bench that's left. Who was six man of the year? Uh, Tyler Hero. Was he really? Yeah, I did not know that. Shout yeah. out Tyler. That's Hero. the only award award I do that not wasn't like debatable because he went to Kentucky. But is what it is. That's the only award that wasn't debatable. Huh. All right. I'm sure we could still debate it. That's what I will. Anyway. Uh, Tyler Hero, sixth man of the year. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> we out. Later. Uh, I was like, Let, okay, Sons yeah, of Mads. Ducky Robinson. They good. got uh, Dead Got him right here. Out of bio, Butler. No, them are starters. Dwayne Deadman. Adonis Haslam. He Hero don't. off the bench. Haywood Highsmith. Caleb Martin, Markeith Morris, Boo, Michael Mulder, Victor Oladipo, Duncan, Max Struess, PJ Tucker, we mentioned earlier. Yeah. Omer, Yurtsevin, Gabe Vincent, Javante Smart. There you go. That dude, Vincent, is a baller. Gabe Vincent, 25 years old out of UC Santa Barbara. They also got Strauss. Struess. That undrafted free agent that outperformed Harden, he's unafraid. That uh, that undrafted free agent that outperformed Harden, man. Yeah. I bet Struess wasn't in the club. Nope. Don't blame the club for James' mishaps. You just blame James. Dude, also that. Think how many games Harden was still drunk and or hung over and put up like 45 and 20, you know what I mean? Doesn't matter. (laughs) Or 45 It wasn't an elimination game, I can tell you that much. You got that right. (laughs) Those are MJ stories. All right, hey, you guys got anything else you want to add, sons? Son's going to boot the bump Mavs. Luka needs help in the offseason. That's apparent. We've been saying that for the longest, man. We have been, so... I thought it was uh, it wasn't Kristoff. They shipped him out. Yep. I don't know where Timmy Hardaway Jr. is. Where Trey at, man? Trey don't get burned because he's a defensive liability. He could shoot the shot, and he's actually another playmaker, but he's small. So I mean, is he supposed to have Brunson finally step up? Like, Brunson is, is the second best player on that team, unfortunately. Not unfortunately, but he is. Yeah, I think, and he's grown a lot. I mean, he. Made a lot of improvements this season. Yeah, but he's not. He shouldn't be a third option. Maybe a third option if he could stay consistent. But no, he I shouldn't think be a second best player. The West is is both games. I think it's more about experience on the teams because if you look at Mavs, there's not too many players that have that playoff experience. And then the Warriors against Grizz. I mean, we've seen the Grizzlies go on a roll at the end of the regular season and win without Ja. But right now, you see Clay and Steph and Draymond and might even bring Iggy in at some point. That knowledge of the game is really starting to show a little bit more. You may see a little bit more tonight as you get ready for the Warriors-Grizz. Come on, about it in about 20 minutes on TNT. You 
Got it, man. But uh, all right. Without Ja, I, we are uh, slow. It was a slow with Ja. Cool. Ja just made it exciting. Yeah. <laughs> he, I, I, I had Warriors in six, but now it's just Warriors in five. Yep. Pretty. That much. all there is to it. I mean, man, you, Will, you just ran down the dra- gamut of it. Like Warriors are in fine form. Clay Thompson ain't shooting that well, and they're still taking care of business. Draymond really provides a lot to that team in terms yeah. of transition basketball. Draymond Green and kicking it up and just <laughs> got to run the offense around. Wish, Draymond. wish you guys knew who Aggieville Fred was, man. <laughs> Nobody in Manhattan, Kansas here. Oh man, but got to get on him. All right, Warriors looking to close out tonight, like you said. Ja not playing. Here's the clip, actually. We've been talking about Ja. Well, Ja hurting his knee. But Blaming they, it on Jordan Poole and blah, blah. But we'll show you the actual play where he heard it off the three. All right. So, John Morant's out, obviously, because of the knee. There's been talk of, is Jordan Poole a dirty player? with grabbing on his leg or whatever. But it looks like Ja hurt his knee beginning of the third quarter on this play. Oh, when they bump knees? Yeah, right at the, yeah, the end of the shot there. You can see John, the closeout of Clay. Bang, right there. Kicks his leg back. So, beginning <laughs> of the third quarter. Right. Just, so, that's, you know, that's what I've seen. It sure looks like that's where he hurt it instead of, you know, Jordan Poole grabbing his leg on the whatever, blah, blah. So No, Jordan Jordan Poole's pull back. <laughs> Jordan's pull back. <laughs> <laughs> Corny, right? It works. It, it works. In, it works in this industry. Get him out of here, man. But I give you, I give you half a point for that one. <laughs> oh, we need to do that. We gotta keep score. Yeah, but no, nah, Jordan's. Uh, I don't think. I think he wasn't intending to hurt Ja. I think he was right. just trying to stop Ja from getting the ball yeah. by any means necessary. Now he pulled back. On the leg, and it looks in the slow mo. It definitely looks nasty because it looked like he actually grabbed that thing and right. just was trying to. But you ain't see him really grab it and pull with a such force where it'd make Jaws knee move awkwardly. He just probably grabbed his knee and touched it like, "Ha ha, I got your knee!" <laughs> like that's probably what it was. And he wasn't really trying like to hurt knee him. biter type stuff. Yeah, he was on what uh, what coaches <laughs> Dan, Dan Campbell yeah, stuff. Oh man, Dan Campbell. Yeah, dude, we need to do a say. I was thinking of that like. Everything looks worse in slow mo, right? Yeah, one hundred percent. We gotta. We'll have to pull a segment of that. Start getting well. Goofy not every video. Right. It's, you it's know a couple I mean? things that look better when you do a slow mo. That booty jiggles. <laughs> yeah, we was. Uh, we, we was. What on, are we doing here, people? Why are we here? <laughs> We're off the rails, man. Hey, man. We keep it lively. This is a family that's, show. That's a yeah. fact, man. I'm just. Voice of reason, dude. It's preaching, man. Hey, it's truth. Man. Whatever. Right, anyway, and I'm, and that's, 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 yeah, that don't look that bad in slow mo. You right. <laughs> Get up away from the subject, quick, All please. Right. <laughs> no job. <laughs> For, oh, yeah, let's see. So we're talking. You know, Warriors about to close out Grizz tonight, presumably. I mean, you never know. Morant's not playing. So Warriors they said are John's fashion. out for the rest of the postseason. Right. Like, do you even really want to see the Grizzlies without John? No, that'd well, be like watching <laughs> the Spurs without. I mean, but the Grizzlies, which is why my man John couldn't eat because right. I feel like John I had a better MVP case than that boy, but he couldn't get it because he missed too many games and they went twenty two and like three or four without him. So that's the mm. thing. And people trying to talk smack about the Warriors not actually like you know they beat them they beat them by 30 with job but it was a close game because when you game plan for the team the the team's game plan was different and their game plan was to stay inside slow it down and the Warriors all the Warriors had to do was execute down the stretch and that's how they got the dub but they, that's and that's why the game was close but John, they they are capable of winning without John, but they're not. It's over. It's a wrap. Lay it down. That team will fight. I don't think they're going to actually lay it down tonight. I think they will fight, though. But it's over, man. So, Western Conference Finals got the Warriors versus the Sun. That was my, yeah. And uh, I think that one going, that's more like a 6-7. That got to go all the way through. Warriors and 6. All right, real quick. From game four. I mean, that still came to, you know, three-point game. Steph Curry comes in. I think he had 16 or 18 in in the fourth quarter. So, I mean, even without Ja, kept it tight the whole way. 
Yeah. Warrior, you know, hung around. Warriors took care of business in large part due to the former back-to-back MVP Steph Curry, looking like he's back to his old form. Ooh. But not having Ja for that final play, you know, Ja could have attacked when they were tied at 99s or 97, whatever. Not having Ja, you know, I had to rely on some youngsters. What Jaron Jackson had to take that three. You know, it puts them in a little tougher position. So, you know, Ja makes a big difference. That team's still good even without him, as we That's see. They are. And their record without him this season, they were like twenty and five. Yeah. You know. I mean, it's so, possible, but I think the just, experience of uh, Mr. Curry on the bench one, and having a guy like Steph on the court, it's just. They, they I got, think experience is going to come down to more than youth and. The inexperience of them being in the playoff and in a crucial position, a closeout game is going to be crucial. So if yep. Memphis cannot win tonight, then yep. bye bye well, Irene. Yep. All right. Well, that's you there. <laughs> Quick you question know. in the chat. Yep. Shardo says NFL schedule dropping tomorrow. Any matches oh, y'all looking yeah. forward to? We'll have to pull that up. I know. I seen some. They've they've leaked some possible games. Like you know, the Christmas Day game is the Broncos versus the Rams. They have really? been. I don't know if y'all peeped that. I mean, now I want to just touch it real quick. I was gonna say, do we? We'll get to that in just one minute. You guys got anything else you want to add to Grizzlies and Warriors other than it's nope. done tonight? No. Done. Done. For call the family we'll ain't looking good. Talk, we'll be able to talk about the the conference finals over the weekend. Good Next thing week. we ain't got no Memphis fans in here. I don't. Think. I was rolling oh, with yeah. Memphis. I thought <laughs> he they was he gonna, picked I Memphis to come out. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you did. <laughs> what an idiot! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> you see what hat he got on? <laughs> it ain't a grizzly hat. Yeah. Number dang. one seeds coming out of the West going right. boring. Man, uh, Kaminga, Jordan Poole, and. Who they? Who Whoever they? else they got on their squad, man. Some young dudes that are taking that leadership and veteran stuff to heart. You would mention that, man. Development, man. The war, Warriors look fine. Deve- Kings of player development. You, you heard it here first. That ain't debatable. No, they are. That's they. They like that, man. Even their star players are developed. That's why they've been, you know, championship relevant every year for seven years now. With Steve yeah. Kerr, or whatever. And if you want to shout out to Mark Jackson, who's who's the foundation. There you go. Put that and start that, that really defensive backbone Do into it. that Warriors team that Kerr ended up taking over. Kerr added his little splash of Spur and Bull and every not Bull like the Bulls actual because he's from that. But oh, it's coming out tomorrow. Wait. Yeah, it's coming out tomorrow. Schedule drops tomorrow. But yeah. All right. So, but not to, no, that's that's done over with. Shout out to the Warriors, Suns. We'll see that matchup next week because uh, it'll probably be over the weekend. You might, only one that's going to go seven possibly is Bucks and what's the name? But that series will be done by the time we have our show next week. So, I will, we will be looking at to, either towards game one or game one will just be done in the Eastern Conference Finals. Yep. I feel like we already see Warriors, the Sun, Warriors and the Suns Sunday probably. I can see all yeah, that. Boston, 99-92. 623 Ooh, left. Wee, I mean, but up. like I said, that man, that man. He ain't going to die. He ain't going to go down a fight. Oh, but no. we keep going back to basketball because that's what time it is. And, you know, foot, this is definitely a football-driven show, and I can't wait for football to come back. I mean, I got to see some of the matchups. I know that the the Monday first Monday night, uh, we got the uh, um, Vikings at Eagles. Second Monday night of the second game of the doubleheader, so that's that's gonna be my, what I'm looking forward oh, to so it far. Comes out tomorrow, NFL schedule leak. Yeah. Let's see what we got. What we got? I know in the five one three, the returning AFC champions. You know we got some big games at, in the <sighs> house to return and making them come to Cincinnati. I'm looking forward to that Kansas City. We are gonna make it a trilogy and go ahead and execute triple time. You know what I mean? And then we get to see Tua and the Cheetah come up there. And also, uh, also Josh Allen even steps into the jungle. Of course, you got Lamar Jackson coming to the jungle. So all of those is highlighted on my list. Anybody want to make a trip, get on a bus. I said it a long time ago, going down to Dallas. Who they nation? Let's take a trip down to Dallas and invade Arlington. New. Um, we're going to get to go see Sauce in New Jersey, in New York, I should say. Uh, take over Tampa Bay. 
Have to go and see King Henry. We're going to Germany. Let's go to let's go to Munich. Watch Tom Brady. Oh, we got Tom Brady down in in Tampa Bay. I don't know if I'm about going to Germany. Dude, to hell with Tampa Bay. Let's go to Germany, man. Screw hey. Florida. Let's get out of here. Do a little bit of Germany. also Jerry World ain't that cool. I've been there. I don't yeah. know. Uh, overhyped, dude. Just a. I mean, it looks cool. It's nice, but we like we didn't even go to seats. We just like basically spent our time just walking around it. the concourse, drinking at the. Stand up Stand things, kind of yeah. watching the game. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's just me, though. I mean, I wasn't. Was San Francisco I, playing that day? No, nah, it was Dallas and Seattle. My nah, girlfriend at the reason. time was a Seahawks fan, so exactly two teams I can't stand yeah. in a relationship I didn't want to be in at the time. <laughs> like, no wonder I had a bad time. <laughs> all right, can't. All right, scratch that. We can't chalk that up. That's purely circumstance. You guys, man, I'm trying to find what the Vikings schedule week is. <laughs> hey, I'm browsing Twitter. I see a little bit. Week ten, Dallas at Green Bay. Don't care. Starting uh, to get the weeks out there. Bills at Lions week 12, Thanksgiving. Oh, Lions and the Bills on Thanksgiving. That might not be that bad. Bills are going to be good. We'll see where the Lions are at come Thanksgiving, man. You never know. They see if will they make be... that trade. Any trades happen, uh, your boy Debo end up in De- Detroit. Only thing I know is the Vikings got the Eagles week two Monday night. Here's one I see. Texans will host the Chiefs week one. Come on, man. There's no D.Y. issues there no more in Houston. And Houston still has a problem. Dude, what I don't are they know who, who they even replaced Watson with. Are they still going with it's the that, uh, Davis Mills? Yeah. Still going with Mills? He played, I mean, he played arguably as, as, he played as good as Baker Mayfield last year. That's not saying a lot, man. Um, it's a starting job in the NFL. Hey, bro. We'd have to look at those numbers. I remember Davis Mills not doing too bad with not a lot of, you know, Houston's just under the radar for a four or five whatever team. They upset a few teams. They, uh, I think Davis Mills upset the Bills when the Bills had that little funk yeah, in the middle like of the season. Yeah, it was like 9-0 to or 7-0 to zero or something crazy, wasn't it that, that game? I'll look it up. I remember. I just know that they but, upset a couple teams. Hey, dude, he's out of Stanford, but, right? Stanford's got good QBs. That's debatable. Andrew Luck and John Elway. Does Luck count? Does Luck count, dude? Andrew Luck was a beast, man. I don't even remember. It was so Andrew fast. Andrew Luck was a stud. He'd still be the best. Oh, Andrew Luck would Mills. be the best quarterback in the league if he were still playing. Let's go to Tampa and invade. Because right, because he's also a Suns fan, but he's also a goddamn Bengals fan. Who they? Yeah, so I guess I'm gonna be pro Ravens this year because I got beef with the Browns too. So I'm definitely gonna your root for the Ravens. Yeah, they coming out of the AFC North at least. Come on, man. I, Come on, man. I'm gonna get the best quarterback, the they, most, they the most, so. the most dynamic, the most killer, the most electric, fine John Moran at quarterback. Yeah. Hey, man, I love seeing Lamar. That's what, like I said, that's one of the ones that's on the schedule that you always want to tune in to. The Squillers is losing his luck. It's losing, it's losing his lackluster a little bit. You always put respect on the Squillers, but Bucks I think it's, it's, it's different. Alla, alla, alla. It's different in the AFC North right now. Kill my phone. I got to turn my stuff off. All right, Davis Mills was 2-9 and nine last year. Man, I'm still, I was still looking for the wins. I mean, I see one over the Chargers and over the Jags, but other than that, they not. I got you. Texans ain't nothing, man. Texans still got a problem, like I said. Blasted by the Bills, forty to zero. So anyway, Davis Mills in Houston. That'll be a surprise team. Houston might put together a few wins. Man, you reaching, man? You reaching? Because, hey. I mean, to see who they have on their team now, you still got Davis Mills. Yeah, I'm looking I for somebody that he's even him. throwing to. Laramie Tunsil. <laughs> no, nah, dude, Brandon Cook. Uh, I thought Cook Tunsil was from, that type that, 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 that tackle. tackle. Yeah. yeah. That guy. Ain't that the dude that was? Nah, yeah. he has what some type they, of issues. The mask guy from the, the draft. Oh, yeah, he has some issues. Laramie Tunsil. Do you see selling an NFT of that? Yeah. That's awesome. selling, I thought he was selling an actual mask. <laughs> That'd be even, yeah, that'd be even better, COVID. dude. What is this over my head? Oh, that's the mouse. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what oh, is yeah. that white thing? All right. 
I thought I was too. I guess they, they picked up John Michi from Alabama in the draft. Nah, man, Texas is coming in fourth. They're going to be another top five pick. Forget it. We ain't got to keep talking about them. Sweet. They're but to be- have them, like you said, the opening <laughs> night, right? Who's opening night against them? Is that what you say? They were going to be opening? It said, yeah. Who? Texans and Chiefs. Open no night. way, dude. Why not? Why? Yeah, you got to play somebody. I don't know. Who the Lovey Smith drive? Somebody. No, he jumped up to drive Stingley. I don't know. Some, some dude tweeted it yesterday per our, per Fox KC something. Texans will host the Chiefs week one. No. I mean, it's just a leak, so we'll oh, see. Oh, it's not. That ain't opening nah, night, though. That might be that. That ain't their home. Right, it ain't opening night, but yeah, it's just I'm week one that can be their home oh, opener. Okay. But that's definitely nah, not. That's, that's more realistic, I guess. Like the I NFL, the like NFL that. season, that Thursday game should be. Rams already, versus whoever. Matched. Right. Like, they already have that one down. Who's opening day game? It. Rams and who? It won't be a rematch like of a Super Bowl or nothing like that. That's what it's been. We don't have the Rams on our schedule again. Nah, it shouldn't be Rams Bengals. It should be like Rams Bills, the next possible Super Bowl I'm matchup. I'm looking it up because I really, I really feel like I, 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 I know who I'm on. coming going with coming out the AFC. I'm still depending on who will come out the NFC. I don't know yet. There's too many teams out there, including mine. One day ago, all signs but possible Rams, Rams Bills, Bills Super Bowl opener. I can see that this year. Rams, bu- Bills, Bucks. I they already announced That's it. debatable, sir. We'll find out tomorrow. Bills, Bucks. I I think the Bills is coming out the AFC. So. That's debatable, sir. They gonna let Tommy walk off on his last hurrah for his, you know, to go in right, and get Bucks. that three hundred plus million I'm over ten years, I'm man. Leaning. Oh, let's talk about yeah, that. Talk yeah, about the go, doing go like things. First yeah. of all, money. Fox Sports. I just need half of which I want to give Tom. I'm going to come and give y'all the same. Give me a quarter or what one thing. one you percent would be fine. I want half. <laughs> give me the opportunity. I'm not selling myself short. You feel me? Yeah. You guys got any interest in Tom Brady calling games? Like I, I don't even know if I really heard Tom talk. That's like, oh, well, you got to follow him on Instagram and Twitter, man. That man's all over the place, bro. But it's still, do you have any interest in him calling him foot? I have, I do not. I mean, you got to th- if Peyton Manning and uh, Eli. Eli could do the broadcast on Monday night. Maybe Tom did appear on that. A couple but that's times. like you know, that's cartoon, and that's just those two. But maybe that's Saturday Night Live. That's right, tuning so. into Peyton and Eli eating chips on their couch. Like, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, maybe we, we got to hear what he's doing this. In the, in well, the, in we're the, talking about. Drew, I mean, it'd be uh, a comparison. Tom, it'd, it'd, it'd be like Tom. It'd be not Tom. It'd be like Tony Romo. Like, yeah, Troy Aikman. That's what they're expecting out. Yeah. Yeah, I think he got a magnetic personality. He's relatable. I do not think uh, he has a magnetic no. personality. Yeah, bro. When he's not talking to Grunt, I mean, <laughs> that's who he mostly chit chat with on maybe Twitter or Instagram. I don't, I don't, I think I follow him, but I don't ever see him on there. No, nah, I do post a lot. Huh. But yeah, that's a bit, you know, some big news there. He announces Tom Brady heck, 10 years, he announced 375. retirement on there. And he unretired on there. He did it all on Instagram. Yeah, 375. He, he, his contract for Fox will be bigger than his entire contract for the NFL. Dude, right. What's that? That's why we got to get into broadcasting, boys. <laughs> Join Ohio Media School where you can learn from a pro to be a pro. And, yes. Celtics up six. We are pros. Dude, got that right. Celtics up six. 155 left. They hanging on. Well. Um, all right. All right, but for the Vikings, though, I just need to figure out which week we play the Packers. Usually when we play the Packers early in the season, we usually have a good season. Yeah. If they save it for the middle of the pack, <laughs> see what I did, we might not. But, no, nah, I'm really having high hopes for that team, man. I really like the offense and the defense made the right moves, and that's not me being a fan. If Kevin O'Connell could just come in with a little bit of McVay, it's a wrap. For the North, at least. They still got to earn the respect to get into that upper echelon of Rams and Bucks because that's really all it is in NFC. Everybody else is really on the same tier. San Francisco. Yo, a tier. NFC up. Championship and the Super Bowl in the last two years. I will what else you, you want? Huh? I, want y'all um, to, I want y'all to have um, a quarterback that y'all believe in. But I do believe in him. No, that Who y'all you talking believe to? In. I'm talking about John Lynch and uh, my man Shanahan. Get somebody that can stop Cooper Cup in the MVP. fourth quarter. <laughs> no, sh- Nail it. 
Like I said, they're on that same, they're on that tier below where Bucks and Rams is. Man, it's just a big question mark in San Fran right now. Yeah, hundred percent. But you trust the roster. They're not at the bottom. And the coaches. They're, if the, if I would well, do we'll a see. Jair's levels, they would be in grind time. But by that time, yeah. it's going to be back to Will Ward's power there ten <laughs> rankings. So get ready. I do not believe that Forty uh, ers are going to be, you know, they're out of here. the top ten. But depending on where Debo falls, I think that offense rise a lot. I mean, that's about seventy five percent of their offense. Yep. So. See what's going on. I know we talk about the Niners. Sharp probably going crazy in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, man, yeah, it's the, you know the Rams to repeat. They didn't lose much. Added some pieces. It's a war of nutrition. Can they stay healthy the whole season? We got to see it. No is the answer. It usually just – it's hard, man. I, I'm i thinking the Chiefs had to take like, a I big had a dive. debate. I think yeah. the Chiefs are going to fall off. They might finish last in their division, yeah. man. Chiefs are definitely falling. Who's that? Got Denver, Oakland. Denver, L.A., and Raiders, man. AFC Championship game will be Denver Oakland. at uh, Vegas. Buffalo. Yeah. AFC Ship game will be Denver at Buffalo. Oops. In Denver, man. That's possible, too. But I think that the Bills is going to come out. Championship game will be Denver at Buffalo? Why are you saying it like that? AFC West. I mean, are you saying it like that because you're a Bengals fan? AFC Championship game. You've moved Denver all the way up to the championship game? Dude. They're super. Dude, they're. Did you not see the moves that they made? Russell Wilson, man. not the only one. Russell Wilson's in the Super Bowl. They've been contention. building a championship caliber and defense. That's why you have to stay tuned to oh. that's debatable because football season is about to come. We got a tie game, boys. One oh, how much time left? Washington one, Cooper. 105 all. 37 seconds, 105 all. I need to turn to the game. Shard was on it, too. Good job, Shard. Shard, the Rams are bad. Sorry, bro. I'm just playing. They're pretty good. Our very own Ram ambassador. <laughs> the Rambassador. Dude, yeah, Denver, right man. Corner. I would I wish I would have got Denver's win Super Bowl before they traded Russ, but duh. Um let's stick well, right, we'll stick around till the game's over and we'll bounce. Thirty seven seconds. Nine thirty here in Columbus. I just want to shout out. Thank y'all for tuning in, whoever's still around. Yeah, because I ain't even sure. watching it right now because I had to charge my cell phone. Shout out to everybody. Miles, hey, I did say that you could call in, Brody, to talk to your sons, but that was also we thought that the sons would be sweeping the Mavericks. Y'all are still in the series. So when it's Western Conference Finals time, I got you, I promise. I want to get some guys back in here, man, but my, this thing – I, if, if I got a guess, I don't want to be and make it a day where I'm coming in late, something like that, man. But I would like to get guests back in here and all of that. Let's see what we can line up. Can I got a, I got a couple people oh, in mind. It's a tie ball game. Yeah. 105. Just, you said tie? I thought you said it was down. I don't nah, know. Was that time, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> where was I at? I don't I was, know. I was looking for something, not listening. But, hey, well, that's even better. I'll see what I can. See what kind I of, think I was too busy yelling out to Takupa. Yep. <laughs> nah, kind of guess what, we could get in here. That's what I was doing. Got a couple of uh, lined couple up. I'm still line. working on if I can get my guy uh, Tyson Anderson, a number 166 pick, like I said, out of the 419. Trying to Been working on him, trying to hit him up. I know he's busy right now, but I definitely want to try to get Mr. Anderson a number 166 draft pick to the Cincinnati Bengals. So that's the one I'm working on. If anybody else in the chat can help that one out. But we try to make big moves in here if that's debatable. It's going to be a lot coming up down the pike, coming up uh, over the next couple of weeks here at Squirrel on Air, OMS, the graduating class of 2022 from, I believe it's like September, maybe to April. Uh, it's going to be graduating this week. So shout out to all the class of 2022. We here now. It's going to be a lot better. The next generation is ready to take over. Shout out so. to the guys, man. Proud of y'all. Proud of you, man. Yes, sir. I went back at it. Did your thing, man. It, uh, my, my second time to come. We did that thing together last year. Class 21. Went back and doubled down. Did your thing again, man. That's that's hard. That's beast. What so. time is that? Uh, one o'clock. I mean, one o'clock. Right. One o'clock. So a lot more coming down the pike. Like I said, a lot Just more exciting. Tuned, Got the basketball league, the IBO, or excuse me, uh, IB. Oh man, I'm stuttering right now. IBT. IBT. Cody. Cody uh, Ballard. IBT. Got Academy. him coming up. up too. Yeah. Thirty seconds. The Brick League. Coming up. Yeah, Brick League's always a good time. 
Uh, dude, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff going on, man. It's going to be hot. All right, Boston, yeah, up to 24 seconds, I assume. Dang, Grant Williams just, tack- just tackle Giannis. Uh, Aiden makes them both. Grant Williams' personal foul. Foul to give, 24 seconds, 14 seconds. What happened? You watching it live over there? Shooting foul. Well, phone is charging. Oh, man. Oh, there you go. You see, you go hold it in front of the camera. I'll stream get cut. <laughs> right. <laughs> Run, I'm running NBA live <laughs> through a secondary phone. Damn, I'm doing this bleeding in his eye. Hater alert. Sorry, Shard. That was me. Shard, the only one left. Thanks, dude. Sticking Appreciate around you. to the end, man. My guy. I have to. Complain to my dumb friends. Oh, that's he elbowed him in his face. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know the last 14 seconds of this game can take 20 minutes. Yeah, so right. Continue to watch uh, the NBA on TNT. Remember to follow me right here at Will Ward 288 on all social media platforms. We've been pumping a lot of material out here at That's Debatable, so make sure that you like and subscribe to us on YouTube. Go to the That's Debatable YouTube page. We all have been working very hard, and we appreciate each and every one of y'all that's tuned in. For sure. So, yeah, definitely, a lot man. of stuff coming. Just continue to stick around and keep rocking with your boys. We're just still working on the foundation. It's only going to get better. Still working on the foundation. Episode 39, which means next week, episode 40. We it's did a long that. foundation. We did, we did a, uh, I, I, I put together a video for the first 20. I might put a, get, put a, uh, put something together for the last 20 just because. Or shut up, just wait till 50. 50's yeah, big. We got one year coming up also, so. Continue to keep your ears out to the streets, and we're gonna figure out when our one year mark is coming up. So we definitely want to have somebody I in here say on, on that June. day, one year anniversary. I just, uh, I just know it was the day before the, uh, the game six. Nah, no, no, it was, we it was the day before game or that Monday, the day before game six, because the game six was Tuesday night, and that's when the Bucks won the championship. The day after that. And we, because I, I was like, I'm mad we missed the whole playoffs because we had to wait because I had to do my little training. Shout out to my dude Hugh, he uh, that's who I ran into last week. I had to do my training in order to set this whole thing up first. I then we all had vacations. We just finished school. Back, I think I had Florida, LA. I got it. I got uh, Chicago, LA coming up. So we uh, in the beginning. And I think when we finally was able to finally get it together it was the two, the Monday before that game six, whatever day that was, which is June something. Oh, what did I just miss? Milwaukee's up three one. Woo! Yep. And Bobby Portis is going crazy. Portis is in the three. I don't know. That's why I got rewind. People don't even need a rewind. Oh, they're gonna give me the replay. Giannis misses the free throw. Yikes. Oh, what way to be big, Bobby P. Way to be big, my Chicago Bull. Yes, he was a Chicago Bull. And I know he looked at my looked at the crowd. I got a championship ring, man. Forget you. But right now, he got a big office abroad and he put it back. Watch Tatum off the glass. He's special for that. Dang, oh, no. Milwaukee, He's dude. Getting heated. That's why you can you never count them out. Hey, you know, they, they, my, the Warriors keep talking about the heart of a champion, the heart of a champion. You know who got the heart of a champion right now? The Milwaukee Bucks, people. No, I'm not on the Bucks bandwagon, but I do love being right. <clears throat> yeah, they're showing that play that shouldn't have happened. KD, put your booty on. Put your booty on Tatum. It's a whole other ball game, KD. Put your bo- just, just throw it out there. Kyrie, hands up. Take the charge. Maybe Tatum, that play don't go like that. Maybe y'all win game one, and then y'all can figure the rest out later. I don't know. Maybe that whole D- game one that was demoralizing. They just showed that play of how they won. That's why I brought that up. 11 seconds left. Possible last play of the game. Pull it up for my guy. Oh, he snatch blocked it. Bro, he snatched it. 
<laughs> Marcus Smart. Who play 2K? Anybody out there play 2K? Bro, he just snatched, blocked his stuff, he just bro. Just took it from him. Drew Holiday, I don't even know. Give me oh, that. Oh, man. Damn, Marcus Smart, DPOY. That wasn't smart, was it? No, nah, it was Drew Holiday on smart. smart on a shot. Oh, yeah, duh. First of all, they almost gave him the bucket, though. I don't know why they left that wide Ooh. open. Drew Holiday, dude, he's a player. 6.3 seconds. That must be where they at. The real DPO. Sorry, no, I don't know. There you go. I'm yeah, you said it earlier. Just, nah, I, nah, I'll just say he capable of winning the award. Marcus Smart might have. I mean, some people felt like he could have been Bridges. Some others felt like Jaron Jackson. But, I mean, out of the three, it was a May, flip of a coin. In that May case. 25th. It wasn't like the MVP. May 25th last year was when you created the logo, it looks like. I'm looking through files on here to see if I can find show one. That'd be nice. To I no even longer see. got show one on my phone either because yeah. I tried to delete them episodes off my joint. See the progression of how we have evolved and become a lot more Man. You know, vibrant. I'll shout out again my Colorado Avs. Got the lid on. Did not get this from Lids. No shameless plug. Straight from the source. The Pepsi Center, baby. Got it at the can. Always like the team stores when I go to places. So. Right. I have yeah. swept them out, dude. Nashville Predators. Stop, drop, open up shop. Shut them down. There you go. Shut them down, open up shop. So, I have got a break. Their goalie's hurt. Because I busted. You're right. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Rocking abs, baby. NHL playoff time. I love it. Speaking of physical, Don't get a five seconds now. Speaking of physical play, much like this Boston Milwaukee game, so was Pat Connaughton. Connaughton going to the line, up one, up one, hit both. Connaughton gonna hit both. He got to. I mean, I don't know if he got ice in his veins though. I don't know if he liked that. From no, like from no, I, I didn't watch him punch on a lot of stuff though. From Milwaukee, I like real to see big. a dunk contest between Connington and Caruso. It's changed the whole narrative up. I mean, we were so used to the home team winning. No, uh, but Milwaukee but won game one. They won with game, game one yeah. in Boston. Yeah. Up three. You got them both. All right, hit them both. Connington nails them both. Horford got the ball. Smart Coming got down. Tatum is wide open. What the? He just robbed him. What, what is he? Look Milwaukee going to win it. What is he doing? Drew Holiday got the steal at the, the end. Steal. He just took it right bro. off his hand. Who had the ball? Bro. Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart. Remember when. I can uh, see him holding his head there. Remember when uh, uh, Aaron Rodgers forced it to Devontae Adams, but he had Lazar wide open, just mm-hmm. running wide with his hand. This was just, that was Jason Tatum. Running down a sideline, wide open. He could have stopped at the three. His best shot is on the wing. Look, look, Tatum is. He, nobody's up. around him. Oh, man. And before Drew, he could have passed that ball. It didn't show the whole play. But Tatum is wide open over there. Nobody's around him, bro. Drew Holiday saves the day. On two times on the defensive end. Like I said, and on the defensive player of the year. All right, Travis in here. Drew Drew Holiday, the real DPLY, man. Got it. Let me hear a quick, quick quote from Giannis. See what he's got this YouTube don't ban us. <laughs> we believe in one another. Let me hit your open shots. You were able to execute, so what was the difference for you Snatch block. Bro, all Drew my, Holiday did all my two game winning plays. All, yeah. my, all my two Kers, man. All my two Kers know what a snatch block is, bro. Drew Holiday snatch block team okay. for the game. I don't any I don't even know. It's I don't know, but that game, the last two possessions, Marcus Smart had the ball, messed up both times. Dang. Drew Holiday, nice, made the play both times. I'm glad Didn't we see stayed that here live for that. I was thinking that there's an old shot block. I can't remember if it was Bill Russell, maybe, but yeah, notorious for blocking people. But instead of swatting it out of bounds, he'd always like lightly, you know, not necessarily a snatch block, and just straight grabbing it. But he'd always try and tip it to himself. Yeah, you know, just get the smart block heads up rebound. play. Drew Holiday, man, smart heads up play. Grab it right there, but, still in bounds. Boom. Hey, but Tatum Dude was bucks, wide open man. down. Tatum was wide open down that sideline. 
wide up and down that sideline. But yeah, they I said Bucks was gonna win tonight. I said the Bucks was gonna win tonight. They up three Bucks two. Bucks gonna win the East. Bucks and six. Dang it! Alright, I'm changing. My- didn't see that coming. I man. said I want Milwaukee, hey, so bro. I'm happy. I, I think I am on record saying don't count on Anthony to so <laughs> This host, I, that, that, that specific game, like the game. Hey, I, I, and I know just to switch it back to football, but as a Minnesota Vikings fan, a Minneapolis miracle, you got to play to the final second. Dude, they nailed it. MVP stuff. Giannis showing up. And Marcus Smart didn't. Milwaukee. It, these play, time these it players. Is. Hey, the players that dye their hair, man, you can't trust them. <laughs> that, I, I, I'm saying it. That's debatable, man. Hey, right he, there. He can undye his hair and get his braids back, and he'll be all right. All right, Bucks win game five, up 3 2, going back to Milwaukee. There you go. Have a good oh, night, yeah. folks. Achia, I yeah. hit it right on the money. Money, money, money. Yeah, man. just like Milwaukee, right on the money. That's debatable, baby. Shout out to y'all. See y'all later. Strike like, it rich subscribe, out there. Fall out. See y'all next Wednesday. Hopefully, my day ain't that hectic. Next Wednesday, we're rolling. Strike it rich, folks, or I'll rich right strike. Here. Horses and is moving up quickly as Crown Pride takes the lead around the far turn. It is Crown Pride battling with Messier. They're stride for stride. Epicenter and Zozo sit behind them. Cybernet sweeps up on the outside. Sandon gets the rail run and they're into the stretch. It is Messier, Crown Pride, and Epicenter is coming up on the outside. Epicenter has taken the lead as they arrive into the final for long. Sandon is coming after him. Epicenter and Sandon, these two, strive for stride. Simplification down the outside is next. They're coming down to the wire. Epicenter, Sandon, rich strike is coming up on the inside. Oh, my goodness, the longest shot has won the Kentucky Derby.